Viewer discretion is advised, just due to the severity of what I'm going to be discussing. Hey y'all, thank you so much for watching Miss Angelique TV, where we talk about everything. Wait, I ain't even wait. Hold on. Hey y'all, thank you so much for watching Machine Delete TV where we talk about everything. And when I mean everything, I mean like, as you can see by the title, it's going to be a story time. I have no idea what I'm going to title this, but y'all know it's a continuation of the whole Mama Drama series that I have going on. And it's almost over, finally. Like, I really dread it because, you know, I make my notes or whatever, so I won't forget anything because this stuff happened, like, two years ago um so <laughs> i don't want to forget anything so i always make my notes and before i made these notes i just like took a deep breath i'm just like where the fuck should i start <laughs> so yeah we're gonna get into it but before we do real quick i want to announce that that my makeup line angelic touch cosmetics is having a giveaway i'm giving away three gift sets by angelic touch cosmetics which is going to include like basically a bunch of the products that we have so that you can be one of the first ones to have them and well not the first ones because i've already launched and you know already have started making orders but you know what i mean like one of my first subscribers like i don't know if i've had any subscribers purchase i don't i don't know but if you haven't don't worry hold on real tight we about to do a giveaway real quick if you want to save some coins i'll go ahead and post all of that in the description box below all of the details as to what you need to do to enter the giveaway but real quick it's simple all you gotta do is go to the website subscribe to my email list that way you can be you know into the secret exclusive sales and stuff that i'm gonna be having and different things that i'm gonna be um launching because i have other products that's gonna be coming out real real soon also um actually within like the next week or so so you might want to subscribe to that not only just to win some free stuff but also to stay in a loop as to what new products i have coming out if you are into makeup and or if you're not into makeup and you know somebody that's into makeup and you just want to enter the giveaway or whatever that's fine too you know what i'm saying like just just do that also hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already because if you haven't like what what are you doing go ahead and hit the subscribe button that way you can be stay in tune with all of these crazy stories that i have coming up <sighs> let's just get into the story most of the things that i'm going to be saying right now a lot of the details i didn't fully know until after the fact so i'm going to just go ahead and tell you the details that i found out after the fact that way i don't have to like tell you in two different you know versions so i'm just going to tell y'all how i was told the situation from my mom from her mouth from her um so verbatim well not verbatim because like obviously i'm not saying the exact same thing but the situation is going to be the same you know what i'm saying as she explained it to me um yeah so let's get into it <laughs> okay so the last story time we left off i told y'all that my mom and brandon moved in with another family i don't think i named the mom or the the the, the lady i guess yeah same thing that allowed them to move in with her and her two kids so i'm just gonna name her in this story time now because she's relevant for a little bit um her name is gonna be valerie for story time purposes so like i said valerie had a son and a daughter her daughter was like 15 16 um, at that time, her son was 14 at that time. And so, um, I told y'all, you know, my mom and Brandon, they moved in and they were nice and they were, everything was cool and, you know, dandy or whatever at that point. But not everything was so cool and dandy in paradise whenever it comes to my mom and Brandon. They have been going through situations, I guess, getting into it. I don't know what exactly they were getting into it about, but they were going going through some shit and one time Brandon had called me looking for my mom because he said they had got into an argument and he fell asleep or something because he on um, medication or whatever because he got PTSD all that type of stuff yeah he all of that <laughs> just to say that my mom had been missing he didn't know where she was now I had talked to her earlier that day so I wasn't too alarmed at that time and like I said my mama always found a way to call me like one thing about her, she's gonna call me. You no matter where she is, she's gonna fucking call me. So, um, I wasn't really too worried, but I was like, you know, I'll let you know if I hear from her or whatever. Like, chill, don't be too worried. Because he was like sounding worried or whatever. But 
um, I was like, yeah, boy, um, you a little boy, you younger than me, you worried about this old ass lady. I mean, no offense, my mom was not old, but I'm just saying, like, compared to him, like, come on, I'm really, but anyways. So I eventually caught up with my mom, like I said, as I always do. She was with a guy at the time, so she was on his phone, using his phone to talk to me. And so she was like, yeah, I'm okay. And I was like, oh, Brandon was looking for you. He called me, he was worried and stuff, said he hadn't heard from you, and da 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 and you just left the house and was walking. And she was like, oh, girl, I'm all right. He gonna be all right. I'm about to come home. I just needed some space because he was tripping. And I, they, I don't know exactly, like I said, what, what the situation was. But whatever it was, he was tripping, like she said. And she wanted to fucking leave. So she left and was with a nigga, a client, bitch. I don't know who the fuck she was with at this point. I just know it was a male figure. So I'm like, okay, cool. You know, whatever. I just brushed it off and they you know I guess they eventually made up and everything was fine so at this time which this is another like I said I didn't know this right here specifically that I'm about to tell y'all right now for sure for sure I did not know until after the fact but I'm gonna throw it in now because it's relevant um well will be relevant eventually but at this time my mom explained to me that her and Brandon was doing drugs and whenever I mean drugs I mean like every thing that you can fucking imagine just about give or take i don't know what i don't even know what the fuck they call it bitch i ain't even much about to make a name up for this shit but they call it something and it's basically marijuana with embalming fluid laced in weed and it's supposed to like i don't know oh i know what it's called sherm bitch i i just i just thought of it I just thought of it. it just came to my mind. It's called Sherm. That's what they call it out here in Houston. They be like, oh, you on that Sherm? Yeah, that's what they call that shit. Um, as well as synthetic marijuana she was doing. Um, bitch, she said she, I, I, she wasn't doing crack. Okay, I will say that. That's one thing she did not say that she did. She did not do crack uh, or meth. Well, I don't know, bitch. Because some of that shit kind of confusing. Some of that shit kind of mean the same thing. I think crack, cocaine, kind of. This, I don't know, bitch. But she was doing a lot. <laughs> she was she was doing, she told me she was doing several different things. And I didn't know at all at this point because I just thought that, like, she, I thought at this point it was just normal. Like, she didn't seem out of order or out of place to, to me. She just seemed like the typical mentally unstable mom that I just knew since she started acting like this and I'm just gonna be completely honest and I don't know if maybe I didn't notice it or if maybe, I don't know, like I don't know the time frames when this happened but like I said, it's a reason why I'm telling you these things because y'all gonna, let's just get to, get to that point, okay? Back then in my other story times, a lot of you guys would comment and ask me like maybe, you were, maybe your mom had a drug addiction and you didn't know about it and da 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 and I was like back then thought like hmm maybe but I don't really think so and I still to this day don't think so like back then like at all because I don't know I could be wrong because I really could be wrong but I really honestly don't think it was she was doing any of that any of like any hardcore drugs or anything like that back then I believe it at this point because I know that was something that Brandon was into he was detoxing from other shit my mom would tell me like he would be you know, having chills and be throwing up and be sweating and just be going through it and be real, real sick because he was detoxing off, off of all of these drugs, such as Sherm and stuff. So, um, that's why I kind of believe that, you know, yeah, at this point she probably did do some drugs because, I mean, she was around like nothing but hood nigga, niggas, like, you know, just niggas who ain't got nothing else to do but to do drugs because they're homeless, you know what I'm saying? Because she was homeless too, so... Yeah, I, I, I'm i just going to put that out there. So, going back to Valerie's household, um, everything seemed normal. Like I said, my mom would call um, her kids, niece and nephew. Like, they were just, like, cool family. She would um, cook and, you know, just typical aunt type of shit. You know, they seemed like they had a nice, cool bond or whatever. And it was, like, cool. And my, I know my mom, like, she loves kids. So, I just was like, okay, yeah. Like, it was normal for me because, like, mom like i said loves kids so um it, it wasn't abnormal that she was bonding with them and getting along with them and you know treating them as family pretty much um however my mom did say that the girl was a little fast so whatever i didn't really get into it or like look into it at that time but like she did mention that so i'm just gonna say this for future purposes okay now this is where everything goes to complete shit <laughs> 
literally have you subscribed yet according to my mom the little boy was in some type of pain i don't remember what was hurting him if i put two and two together later on i probably know what it was but we're gonna get to that part my mom said he was in some type of pain so whatever it was my mom decided that she was going to give him some medicine because you know the little boy was in pain so she had ibuprofen she said it was like 600 milligram but she cut it in half and gave it to him because you know he was a child still and she didn't want to give him so much which you know that was good on her part well i can't really say good because that wasn't really her child so she technically shouldn't have given him anything but as far as like the intentions the intentions were genuine you know what i'm saying if you get what i'm saying after that happened everything was cool for a couple more days and suddenly my mom sends me a text message and says this You go from 50 to 20, like, this $20 isn't going to help you. This $20 isn't going to get you a room unless you're trying to get a room for 30 seconds. Like, I don't know. Like, it's it's, it's not going to help you in the long run. And, and even if it does help you, it's only going to help you for right now. It's not going to help you for tomorrow and the day after. Like, it's only enabling you. And then you're going to just need more and you're going to need more the next day. And then, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a revolving circle. So, I just, that's another reason why I didn't want to keep, continue to give her money because it's like you had the opportunity to come out here into texas whenever alan first whooped your ass and so you decided that you wanted to stay out there and now that he's gone you didn't hooked up with somebody else and so now you in another state yet again and i have no way to get you because you all hooked up in this bullshit right okay now mind you that was the initial reason my why my mom told me that they was leaving now after they left my mom actually broke it down to me and told me some other things she basically told me that she, the woman which is valerie i keep saying the lady valerie was accusing my mom of giving her son either i don't know if it was drugs or alcohol it was some type of substance bitch and my mom was like no i wasn't out like i would never give an uh underage child so and so whatever the case was she really thought my mama did it this is supposedly this is what mom telling me like i'm telling y'all what my mom told me so i'm just like hmm i don't know i, I mean i, I kind of i got another story as well that I'm, we're gonna get to in a second but it was kind of conflicting to me because i didn't really know what to believe because like you saying she got roached but then you saying she was like giving she was mad because she was giving to do alcohol like i don't know it just wasn't really making too much sense to me but just keep watching so my mom says that whenever they started packing their stuff or whatever they was like arguing and going back and forth verbally whenever my mom and brandis walked outside from the lady's house or from valerie's house she was still talking she is still yelling or whatever and she was loud i don't know exactly what she said but my mom said that she said something that she felt like the lady had felt some type of way about <sighs> she was just so stupid so mom was like, she was cussing her out all up in the streets and just saying all type of bad things that she could think of to this lady as she was getting kicked out or leaving. I don't know if it was a kick out because she was leaving on her own or if, I don't know who, who told who to leave, bitch. But all I know is my mama and Brandon was fucking getting the fuck up out of there. And I would just like, on the other line, just shaking my hand, just like, bro, like, <laughs> yet another family that you didn't burn your bridges with for whatever reason you're telling me it's one thing i don't really know what the fuck it is truly but i'm gonna find out real soon so luckily my mom and brandon didn't have to go back to the streets or somewhere that they ain't had no business going to because i think my mom said that she met this guy at the shelter i want to say i could be wrong bitch i don't know could be getting this mixed up with somebody else because she met all type of people throughout this course of her life <laughs> but um she met this older guy he was a ex-felon as well himself but he was rebuilding his life and he had some type of like a good apartment where his bills was paid and he was going through some type of program i guess from for being a felon bitch i don't fucking know what they got out there but whatever it was he couldn't be around other felons and also can have other people living with him which he completely disregarded because he decided to let mom and brandon come stay with him but that also didn't last long either and we about to get into why that is so on august 4th 2019 um it was a normal day <laughs> um outside of the fact that i was pregnant you know, I had not so long, well, at this point, I'm probably like three or four months pregnant, something like that. 
I was still sick as fuck. My worst pregnancy ever. My last pregnancy, bitch. Like, I don't know. I was just real, real sick. And I was just chilling. I think I had either just came from leave or just went on leave. Because I was, I had to take a lot of different medical leave just because I was just so, that fucking sick. And so, even though I was working from home, girl, yeah, I still was taking leaves. <laughs> it was a normal day. My mom texted me. She had texted me that morning, um, cause I, at this time I still had her food stamp card. You know, the same food stamp card that I was supposed to get from her nigga Allen and shit. Yeah, that I never get. Mm -hmm. Well, I got it, bitch, but he canceled the shit. Yeah, my mom still allowed me to use her car after this time, uh, around this time. Go lay down. And so she texted me this particular morning and said, Good morning, would it be possible for you to send me the full stamp card after you make about $100 in groceries? Brandon and I will be getting our own place within the next two weeks. And I was like, okay. And um, then she sent me the address and I was like, okay. And then she was like, thank you very much. I'll call you today when we get our phones. Because she was saying that we were going to get some phones. Like, I don't know how. They're going to probably do some illegal and shit. But bitch, they never get the phones. And I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> After this conversation, little did I know this would literally be the last time I would speak to my mom in the free world, so to say. Um, because the next situation, <laughs> just keep on listening. So later on that day, y'all, um, it was like afternoon, late afternoon, I had got a phone call from, it was a Louisiana number and like I knew my mom was in Louisiana out there in Abbeville so I was answering all type of numbers so you know um it was a phone call and it actually wasn't a collect call it was just like from a regular number so um, I answered and I was like hey and I was like hey and so she was like hey how you doing I'm like I'm doing good and she was just like oh that's good and it started off as a regular conversation and then I noticed, like, I was hearing a lot of noise in the background, like, it, you know, like, I don't know, figured, like, she probably was using somebody's phone, like, she always do, you know, but, um, it's like, me and Brandon got arrested, I'm calling you from the phone, they let me one free call to call whoever I want to call, so I, I'm using the free call to call you to let you know what's going on, and so I'm just like, what? how what's going on like i just talked to you like what what happened like this happened so fucking quick bitch. and the first thing that came to mind was like okay maybe she got caught selling coochie i don't know <laughs> like i thought it was something along those lines or maybe she got caught stealing because she was talking about they was getting some phones like i didn't know what it was but what she was getting ready to tell me next i was not expecting for her to tell me what the fuck she was getting ready to tell me she starts to tell me about veronica and i'm just like veronica like what the fuck like y'all been gone all this time like what the fuck okay so what happened she says that she feels like veronica was upset because whenever she was leaving the house or the trailer because i think they stayed in the trailer bitch um whenever she was leaving the little trailer or whatever she was you know blasting out her business or talking shit i don't know exactly what mama said she didn't my mama didn't tell me exactly what she said but mama was convinced that she was just so upset that she was saying all of these bad things about her apparently outside as they were leaving that she was so upset to the point where she would make allegations and say that she slept with her 14 year old son I'm just let that sit right there until I go back to my notes and see where the fuck I left off at. She says that she was lied on. She said that Veronica lied on her and that she don't know, doesn't know why she would lie on her. But me, I'm not a dummy. So it wasn't really making sense to me because why would all of these days go by and all of a sudden she's upset at what you said that was so bad as you were leaving or exiting her home that she would feel the need to make such allegation. Not only was she arrested, but Brandon was arrested as well. And she said they arrested us both. He didn't tell me anything 
else as to why Brandon would have gotten arrested. So I was just kind of confused. I was just like, well, why? I was thinking, why did he get arrested? So I went and did my research and I gathered both of their mug shots and I'll go ahead and post them right here. It says the actual charge. I'll go ahead and um, highlight the charge and let you know what that charge means. Whenever my mama told me that, like, literally, every fucking feeling from my body just left. Like, I I was instantly just numb because I'm just like, no, she's not telling me this. Like, no, she's not really saying this. Like, this isn't true. Like, maybe she's really getting set up because this is just not true. Like, definitely not true. Like, what? This can't be true. So... My mom insists that she's being lied on, but part of me wants to believe it, and like a part of me is in, in denial. Like I don't know, <laughs> and I really can't really tell you why because my mom had never like never ever not like not in a million years like like ever do anything like that. Um, but at this point in her life, it's just like it nothing was predictable anymore it's just like it was always something new but also my mom was pretty confident that they had absolutely no evidence against her she was pretty confident that she was gonna beat this and be out soon she was confident you know and a part of me was too <laughs> she also mentioned that the little boy had some sort of STD and that they were going to test her to see if she had the same STD and if she didn't then it was going to rule her out. Don't know how true it was. This is literally what my mom told me and I literally did not hear anything back from about that situation still to this day. Like she never told me that she got tested. She never told me anything. So I don't know how true that is but I definitely dug a little deeper to find out the truth. <laughs> and when I mean I dug deeper, bitch, I dug. I went through my mom's Facebook because I have my, mom, my mom's Facebook page because my mom wanted me to remove him off of her friend list because he was her friend. And the natural instinct is to peep because I didn't. I just heard these fucking allegations. So now I'm about to snoop around and see what I can see or see what I can find. And that's what I did. <laughs> and I found messages between her and the guy. I'm going to blur out his name. I'm going to blur his face. Weird ass name, bitch. What makes me feel like I don't know what nationality he was. Because he definitely wasn't white. But he definitely wasn't Mexican either. So I don't know. Um, all I know was he was a weirdo. So I went through her messages and I saw a conversation. It was, it was a brief conversation between her and between my mom and the little boy. And if I'm going to pull up the screenshots, but if you look at the dates, it says October 1st. My mom was arrested October 4th. She been knew when this was coming. So that's something that she's not telling me because according to these messages, and we'll go ahead and read along. This was on October 1st. He said, hey, I missed y'all. Talking about Brandon and my mom. My mom said, we miss you too at the library. He said, okay, y'all might need to get out of Abbeville. My mom wants me to testify against y'all. My mom didn't reply. Friday. She was already locked up. <laughs> he says, yo, I found out I gotta go through surgery on my nuts. What? And I still to this day, I didn't really understand what that mean or meant. But it kind of made sense when my mama told me that supposedly there's an SCD. This whole situation is fucking disgusting. And if I didn't have screenshots, like, y'all probably would not believe me. That's how wild and sick this shit is. But then, the question is, what did Brandon do? Because the little boy said testify against y'all. The charge for Brandon, I didn't highlight this whenever I first showed y'all the mugshot, but I'm going to highlight it now. The charge says violation of parole or whatever. I, I'm not looking at it right now, but it's... Totally different from what my mom shit says. <laughs> so how is this a thing? Like... 
testify against y'all but he's only he's getting arrested for something totally different he's just probably be only being arrested because he was with my mama like at this point like i mean yeah he wasn't supposed to be in louisiana but because he was on parole or probation or whatever the fuck but how is it that he weren't wasn't charged with the same thing that my mama was We gonna dig a little bit deeper because bitch, baby, look, I put my inspector gadget helmet on that day. <laughs> I matched with that little boy. I sure did. Mm-hmm. I sure the fuck did. <laughs> and I got the screenshots. Y'all know I do, right? As I was messaging him, I was screenshotting it because I was trying to like catch him on a lie or whatever. So that's another reason why I was screenshotting. I legit thought this was gonna be a finale, but clearly this is gonna be a finale part one. We're gonna have to be a part two because uh we're gonna close this here right on up because my husband is getting ready to be home too so i need to wipe this makeup off my face because he told me to be ready and y'all know what the fuck that means so i'm gonna see y'all my next story time go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below like i told y'all two times ago because y'all need to hit the subscribe button like subscribe be a part of the family be a part of the crew be a part of the team because bitch this is the tea this is where this is where the tea well, my tea, my 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 life tea, bitch. This is where I spill my tea. This is just my real life. I'm, you know, I'm just going through the the motions with you guys from step by step because I really like. I feel like other people need to hear this. A lot of people might think like, why is she telling her family business like that? I'm doing it because first of all, it's public record. <laughs> Second of all, I'm not ashamed of it. Like I was at first, but like. I'm not ashamed of it at all and my son is coming in this room again so we're just gonna go ahead and just wrap this up because he ain't gonna leave me alone he ain't gonna leave me alone thank y'all so much for watching the video if you've made it this far thank y'all so much for watching and i'm gonna see y'all in my next video peace um she was like yeah oh my god junior go lay down okay we're gonna go cheeseburger after i'm done <sighs> they just canceled my order. So unfortunately, in the McDonald's location, you chose stops Uber Eats at 2 a.m. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel your order. Sorry about that. So why the fuck is is Uber Eats on? I mean, why the fuck is McDonald's on Uber Eats if they stop at two? Just due to the situation, I'm just gonna put that out there, and I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get this video monetized. So. Ooh, this shit is hurting the fuck out of my ear, bitch. Hold on.